So Apple has officially started hyping up the M5 MacBook Pros. There's a lot of Easter eggs thanks to Greg Joswiak putting five M's in a row and then showing the MacBook Pro in kind of this deep blue V configuration, Roman numeral 4.5, of course. And I'm mostly grateful for this because it means the OLED MacBook Pro is more likely to be on track. Yes, I'm sorry. I don't expect any design changes or much noteworthy on the outside of the upgraded MacBook Pro. It's mostly just going to be a spec boost which is why personally i am not too hyped by it maybe there's a new color option for this new macbook pro but yeah we've all just kind of gotten used to year over year yep there's a new chip it's better battery life faster performance probably not going to be an event given they're already dropping teaser images like this but that's not the only thing that's supposed to be dropping there's rumored to be other spec bumps across apple's lineup so something that's already been unboxed by a good old-fashioned russian youtuber somehow these guys always get products early I don't know how or why, but an M5 iPad Pro has already been unboxed. And shocking nobody, it looks exactly the same. We already had a pretty big design overhaul with the M4 iPad Pro, so I'm not too surprised that they're keeping the design and everything the same. Even the packaging appears to be the same. So that's why this is most likely going to be a site refresh and not a designated event, because basically Apple has just cooked up a new M5 chip. They just got to throw it in all their products across the lineup. So new MacBook Pros with faster chips and better battery life is coming same story with ipad pro but interestingly this also might be the first time ever apple actually updates vision pro unfortunately not the way we're all hoping i think a lot of us were expecting there to be you know slimmer or lower price or something like that but it sounds like it's literally just a chip swap so same exact design of the last generation vision pro just throw an m5 chip in there and call it a day but it's probably long overdue that thing launched with the m2 chip which was already dated especially on a $3,500 product. So in my opinion, you know, kind of playing catch up a bit, but I don't know, does having an M5 chip in Vision Pro help it all that much? I guess best case scenario, the battery life gets a little better, but it's got a lot of room for improvement. Probably going from a two hour battery life to a three and a half hour battery life or something simple like that. Hopefully there's some updated graphics that allow the Vision Pro to like sustain higher refresh rates or something. But there's also been rumors about the slight refresh of the Vision Pro gaining a different headband attachment that's allegedly more comfortable, which wouldn't surprise me at all because the headbands they included in the first gen Vision Pros were not very comfortable. They were very focused on just looking cool and being good for marketing, but not actually being good to wear. Probably some kind of strap that goes over the top or over the back, similar to what Meta has done with the Quest already. But hopefully there's some surprises in store with the iPad Pro. There was rumors at one point of it having two front-facing cameras so that no matter which orientation you were in the camera felt in the more natural position i don't know that feels a little overkill for me but kind of something apple would throw on a random ipad pro because it's like yeah here's something we could do but i don't know how useful it is let's just try it something else i could easily see them doing is putting the square camera sensor from the front of the iphone 17 series onto the ipad pro so that you still have landscape and better center stage optimization and you don't have to like hold the ipad a specific way when you're trying to take a selfie it just doesn't matter because it's cropping in on a square regardless that might be kind of nice and if they're gonna double down on this five thing like the m5 chip and jaws keeps putting hints to that in his posts one thing that would be really cool since apple has started rolling out their c1x chip which allows for really power efficient 5g connectivity and the n1 chip in the new iphone 17 series as well if they could bring that across the lineup which for one would be cool for better wi-fi and bluetooth connectivity and that kind of thing but more importantly I would love it if this was the first MacBook Pros that actually get 5G connectivity. People have been begging for that for years, and for some reason, the iPad has always had it, but the MacBook couldn't get it. I don't know why. The MacBook has better battery life. It's got a bigger battery. It costs more than the iPads do, so why not have the option for 5G on the MacBook? I don't get it. You could literally do it on the new Apple Watches, but you can't do it on an $8,000 MacBook Pro. Pretty ridiculous, so doubling down on the number five would be cool and just be like, these MacBook Pros actually support 5g 
sure maybe it's not millimeter wave but apple is making pretty decent 5g modems now for their iphones might as well start putting those in the ipads in the macbooks while you're at it right screw it put it in the vision pro while you're at it so you can walk around and drive with your headset on that might be dangerous and ridiculous don't take my advice but stay tuned for more i don't know when apple is dropping all of this stuff it could literally just be any hour now they're kind of unpredictable these days but what are you most excited for are you most interested in the new macbook pros are you most interested in refreshes to the ipad pro or the updated vision pro feel free to let me know all those thoughts down in the comments below and thank you to everybody supporting this channel directly it seriously helps us out a ton as does just watching these videos so thanks again this is your app sheep here i'll see you all in the next one